Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. If you couldn't tell by the pinkness surrounding my face right now, it's Valentine's Day. Plus, there's a heart on the screen. Take a look at that. That over that. Or that. Whatever. Anyway, to celebrate this commemorative occasion, I wrote a little poem to share with the world. Roses are red. My life full of stitches. I don't feel like I'm dead when I stream for the Twitches. My heart fills with love when I press the stream button. If your love were a pastry, it'd be a big muffin. The party parrot dances for our journey so far. Thus I declare party on wherever you are. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's Monday. It's a Monday evening. It's indie game time. My name is Cameron. Let's continue on. I play a game that's been sitting in my library for a little while called Hottiful Boyfriend. There are two games apparently for this. One of them is this the original and the other one is also apparently another one out there holiday star i think there's a holiday version like a winter version of this but i had to give this a try it's a dating sim where you date birds i never thought that i could fall in love with a government dr i mean a flying beautiful woodland creature but i think i think there's an there's an opportunity to find love today poetry indeed good evening hello with a bird brain? Bird brain? Well, to be fair, it looks like at least one of these is a pretty big bird brain. This guy right over here, his body be his body be thick, and I bet his brains is too. I don't know if it's got a lot of wrinkles in it, which apparently, you know, it's a, it's the amount of wrinkles in the brain that determines the intelligence of the creature. I suppose we'll just see there. I don't know. I, I look forward to it. St. Pidgeot Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeot Nations. Please enter your name. <laughs> I know what my name is. That's an easy question. My first name is Cameron. Yes. And my last name is is with an X. With X? With X? With X? With X. My last name is with X. Not Anx as in anxiety. Certainly not. Is Cameron with Anx okay? I think I'm doing all right, but thank you for asking. Yes, I believe so. Hotful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualiz visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits when first introduced? Ch uh, no. Why would I be interested in humans? If I wanted to see humans, I would have gone outside. Ugh, there are no birds outside right now. It's very cold outside. There are no birds, not right now. St. Pidgeot Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. Wow, it took me a- it's- it's a- it's been a year. Have I been exposed to the birds for this long? I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's- no. The world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds, like myself. I'm the Cameron Avian variety. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, and even sports all come to St. Pidgeot Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story and involves a lot of childhood trauma. Not every day I see you rushing around like this. Riona! Hey to you. Pidgey boy. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Cameron. Overslept. Did I? I don't know if I did. Ryota Kawara. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. How old am I? How old do birds usually get? I don't know how often birds, like, I don't know when they reach, like, maturity or not. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. I guess on that note, specifically pigeons. How long do pigeons live for? I wonder. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Apparently not. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. <laughs> what a doll! I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh! <gasps> must be time for class. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. Oh my god. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. 
It's gonna be really sad when I outlive absolutely everybody. I guess that means birds don't live very long. I mean, I'm currently 24. How old are these birds? What is the... If I'm trying to find love out here, I think an important question may be what the age of maturity is around here, and am I too old for the game? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just say I'm a bird too, and I am the appropriate age equivalent to a 24-year-old male in this society. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. I, it was all I could do just to adjust the atmosphere last year. Adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that last fun. Uh, apparently, it took me an entire year to get used to this whole bird thing. Hotful boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon and for the pigeon. Pigeon, 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 pigeon. First term. Wow, look at this lovely classroom. I love the rolling hills in the, uh, in the background. It's beautiful. I think we're in room 2-3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. Wow. Look at all the birds. Where are all the birds? I'm a pigeophile. No. No? No. Maybe? I hope we all get along. My goodness, I hope we get along. <gasps> Teacher's here. What's up, Teach? What's up, Teach? Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuyaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some uh, other things. <sighs> and he sleeps. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? How incredibly different, but not at all weird. It's natural for birds, right? Kazuyaki Nanaki. That's this dude. This quail is Nanaki Kazu Kazuaki. Kazuaki? Kazuaki? Kazuaki. I'm going with it. He's a famously superific math professor. It means he sleeps. He's a little, a little sleepy, I think. I think that was that, that's what that word means. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep to, like, just like that. A total narcoleptic. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms, including quails. Contrary to popular belief, quails are not only delicious, but also knowledgeable up in the noggin. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? To reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragane. What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Yo, well, I guess that's that. Oh dear. Hmm. Kazuyaki toot toot. Toot toot, honk honk, cuckoo, bird sounds. Hey, 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 that's no good. That's no good at all. Really, says that's not good. It's not a good thing. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. What am I to do? Peck at him until he introduces himself? But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. What is a kulak? I'm unfamiliar with that term. Well, when you put it that like that, could could you at least say your name, Shirogane? <sighs> Shirogane la belle Sakuya. Bling! Sakuya la belle Shirogane. That's his name. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Look at these ruffles. Look at these ruffles of mine. I'm beautiful. Beautiful birdie. He's pretty stuck up, clearly. But then transferring is never easy. Maybe he's just kind of rough. I just I just hope we can be friends. Maybe we can get past the whole, like, frilly feathers thing. And, and the whole, like, you know pretentiousness and holier-than-thou attitude. He sits down anyway, glaring daggers at Ryuta and me. Like an asshole. No, like a transfer student. Like, no, maybe both. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. It's a good thing I brought my mechanical pencil to deal with the occasion. Don't get near me, Sakuya. I'll get you. Lunch already. Today's slipping by so quickly. And I swear to God if that feather-headed bird comes around to me and tries to steal my... Worms. I'll get him. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I should go return them. Lest I be charged a hefty fine and kicked out of this school forever. This is my livelihood here. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. 
I like that. <gasps> oh! Is someone looking at me? I can, I can feel somebody looking at me. Probably just my imagination. Oh, or not. Take a look at this hot little number. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction, directly at me. I don't think it blinks. It's not blinking at me. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Goodness gracious. <laughs> um, did you want something from me? <laughs> I'm here to ask you about your day one debt. <laughs> Which is this Oron High School host club? I for one have not knocked over any vases just yet. Although, the day is still young. The night is still very young. <gasps> he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was it was him who I felt looking at me. There's there's no one else here. Those glaring eyes don't lie. Look at the little green that he's got around those big black like scleras. Pupils? Do they have pupils? Can't tell. It's all kind of fading in together. I'm lost. This little birdie's eyes. Are, are you sure you weren't looking at me? Because I very well am looking straight at you. Yes, I. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little little too dense, and I never finished them. <laughs> never finished them. Couldn't couldn't possibly take my eyes off the books, and none of your eyes either. Oh, man. Were you waiting for them all summer? Because I was waiting for those eyes all summer. I don't like the way that you're staring at me. He silently returns his gaze to the book. Not my eyes. He's not looking back at me. It's very... It's very disappointing. Maybe maybe he's in a bad mood? Maybe maybe I looked too long? Perhaps I stared too deeply into those dark, dark... ovals and windows to the soul? <laughs> I'm with Thanks Cameron. A sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Nagaki. Fujishiro. Fujishiro Nagaki. Freshman. I'm new here and weird. Could you get that? I'm aware of it. I like your books. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. You know, get it? Because like in morning, not the morning. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. It's not the morning over here, but maybe it's the morning where you are. Good morning, everyone. And if somebody actually died recently for you, good morning too. Leave, leave me alone. Leave me and my freshman attitude alone. I don't appreciate you staring at me as such. He's reading his book again. I wonder what it's about. Okay, well, I'm sorry to bother you. Because apparently looking at other birdies is bothersome to them. Unfortunate. I keep meeting depressing people today. That makes me sad. I want to meet happy people. People who are going to spice up my life. Like, like, I don't know, probably the next bird I meet. Now that I have that out of the way, and I am no longer worried about the debt that I have incurred during my second year of high school. Bird school? High, high bird school? I'm trying to, I feel like there's a pun in there somewhere. Anyway, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, <gasps> isn't that? <gasps> it's that person again, Sakuya. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years, I'm not British. My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. <laughs> and you're not even British either. <laughs> We're not British, you're just faking it. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. <gasps> Maybe they're adopted. Maybe they're adopted half-brothers. Hey, wait just a... And then he fades away into the darkness. Goodbye. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I, I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. Clearly, sakio has got some species pers uh, personality around here that all the birds look a little bit the same. To be fair, they're the ones who said that they were brothers. That wasn't my assumption. At least I think they did. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakiya's brother? 
the plot thickens. I wonder what the story behind that is. Adoption. Bet. Bet. Hey. <gasps> Exclamation! He looked at me. You're that old thing, right? Are you, uh, Fred Asakuyos? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you. That's my fault, really. I have just such open ears, because I'm a I'm a human. Your ears actually come to think of it. Where are your ears? Is it is it too like is it too rude to ask where your ears are? Are they like little little holes? I don't know. Exclaim Tin Terabang. <laughs> no sweat, dude. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't cool. <laughs> Yuya! This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows this dude. Just look at that. Gotta love it. Oh, this dude. You're Cameron, right? <gasps> how did you, how did you, do I have a name tag on? Right? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. That'll do it. A single poppy in a field of rye. Mm, I could go for some rye right now. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Um, not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. He's a bit of a pretentious prick, but I'm sure you already know that being brothers and all, right? We're in the same class. That's that's all. I had no I had no assumption about his personality or any prejudgments about my first interaction. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Oh, there I go, speaking out loud again. I'm <laughs> suing me. Sorry. Aristocrat wannabe. He, I mean, he, he's an aristocrat, actually, the genuine article like, in the flesh. Like, he, he is? Oh, my God. He's a bit of a pain. Huh? So, good luck, mon ami. Adieu. I'm French now. I always knew. I always knew. He really is a noble bird. Not as dreamy as the one with the dark eyes, whose name escapes me now. Nagaki? I don't know. He was more interested in my books than anything. My books. My eyes are up here, buddy. Not down here. My books. My books are there. These books are cool, but no, no. School's more important. Proper communication with the eyes. I've never heard anything like that about you. The, uh, <laughs> Probably a twisty business. Is there a bird monarchy? The fact that there are noble birds and not and what I'm assuming to be non-noble birds makes me think that there is some class system going on around here that I am apparently, as a human, not at the top of. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? What? Sir? Where's Ryuta? My best friend. Shouldn't you be tricking, keeping track of your students? Uh, he said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see and see if he's still there, you know? Maybe he's sick or something. Maybe he puked in his own mouth instead of... Actually, well, no. I mean, he's probably not a mother bird. He wouldn't be puking in anybody's mouth. Maybe, I don't know, do, do, do uh, birds get feather balls? Like cats get fur balls and stuff? Maybe he choked on his own, like, tufts, you know? I choke on my hair every once in a while. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. He probably did throw up. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. <laughs> Lil Ave has just been thinking about how big these birds must be or how small this human is. I, yeah, you know what? They're taking up like the entirety of the screen there. They are large. Or maybe like, maybe in my mind, in my mind's eye, which is obviously thinking with all Eros right now, is making these birds bigger than they actually are. Because in my head, these birds are significant to me. They are my life. They are larger than life itself. Because life itself, to me, is all... Squawk, I suppose. Excuse me! Double ellipses. Nobody's here. How do they open those bottles in the background without thumbs? That's it. They don't. They have to break them open. And use everything inside. They're all single-use capsules. Bet. Well, there's no sleeping behind. There's no one sleeping behind these curtains, and the doctor isn't here neither. So, my hunter-gatherer instincts feel absolutely no pressure. Presence, none of it. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Hunter-gatherer, you know, because I'm a human, mammal, mammalian. That's me. Ryota. 
No reply. The infirmary is empty. So is my stomach. I should eat lunch. Weird. Did you go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Wow, they've all got all kinds of drugs in here. They've got the Coke, they've got the Molly, they've got the more Coke, Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio Benzene. What do these even do? What is this? High fructose corn syrup? <laughs> Give me a slurp of that. Care to find out? Oh, Lord, it's the doctor. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm -hmm. No. Thank you. That's fine. That's okay. Who is this guy? Does anybody else hear the dance of the sugar plum fairies, or is it... Oh, because it's a partridge in a pear tree. It's it's a partridge. It's a partridge because Christmas. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's a rather cre he's rather creepy in person or in birdie, and has a ra bad reputation among the student body. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him could bring you down with Aspergillus cetacosis or even worse things, like. Diabetes, because of all the five fructose corn soup he's got around here, which may or may not be why this partridge is so pungently rotund. And I never even heard him coming to the door. Ninja Doctor? No, I was just not paying attention. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota. I heard he was sick. Uh, Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Yeah. Him? Oh, he's already gone. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, why didn't he come find me before going home? That's so weird. Why didn't my best friend tell me about literally everything that they're doing? I'm worried now. Is this really the end of our friendship? <gasps> I'm sorry to bother you. I'm gonna be going now. Goodbye. <laughs> Munchausen by proxy vibes. Ah! <laughs> I'm finally out of the den of evil, or rather, the den of holiday spirit, which to some is very easy. Very evil. Y'all have heard of Santa Claus, but what about Krampus? Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Man, I should probably go home too, but I'm just so interested in the student body, or rather, the student birdie. Oh! Speak of the devil. I never got around to joining a club last year. The devil plays soccer. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I, is there a theater club? That's totally up my alley. But, well, we'll see, we'll see. There are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, or bird watching. Hold up a second. I need to take a moment to consider things here. The, this entire community, this entire school is bird watching. There is a club specifically for bird watching. So as an analog, does that mean that there are people watching? Is it a people watching club? Or is it just a bunch of students, all birds, with a human, which will be me, another bird by proxy, just sitting there staring at the rest of the human body? Like, I want to join boy during bird watching club. And then the rest of the student body is just like, why the heck is that ape looking guy staring at me? I'm confused and uncomfortable. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. No, I want to do bird watching. I've already made my mind up. I ran in middle school. I'm a track star. It's always funny watching the birds hop around. That, that seems speciesist me. You, what do you look at? You get your kicks out of watching birds bounce around. Seems a little, a little odd, dude. Well, I get my kicks out of watching humans bounce around. <laughs> you and your bipedal la bipedal forms, anthropomorphic weirdos. <laughs> You're literally falling over every single time you take a step. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side, near the track, probably. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. <laughs> this is... Oh, do you literally speak in only coos? And this is no pudding for a man? Cool! <laughs> Okusan rejects it. It's a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. But the piano is lovely. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. 
I say very stupidly. There was definitely something better to say there, but I did not. <laughs> it was this guy. Oko-san, you have no last name. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think perhaps the long lost estranged brother of the other two fantails. Either way, he's hyper. I try not to call it ADHD because I want to be try to be as not politically correct as possible to my fellow student. I have no respect for the fantails. I'm obviously on a lower hierarchical level than the rest of these birdies. So I will treat them as such with disgust. <laughs> Okusan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. And also, apparently, this one is illiterate? What does it mean when you don't know how to speak language? I don't know what that term is. I'm just gonna, I can understand him. So maybe we speak via telepathy. I see you, San Oko, San Oko, San Oku. Uh, betrayal? I did understand what you said. Cool. Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It is squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding, which means you bought it yourself and made a mistake. Maybe because you can't read, which is totally okay. You can not read if you want to. That's fine. What's wrong with it, am I, if I may ask? Spare the gists, young lady. Cool. Okusan used wing attack. It's super effective. Did this bird just whack me in the face? <gasps> Ow! You bastard! They'll rule the day they crossed Okusan! He'll have them flayed, hanged, shut it down! He will! He will do it! There will be no survivors! Okusan must now train to achieve the true pudding! Farewell! Bye! And he's gone. He's a good runner! But what does pudding have to do with the track team? I don't know. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Wow. By Pokemon rules, what type am I? Allegedly human person. Wing attack is a flying type, and I assume most birds are also flying type. Now, I think that Okosan is flying in psychic type because obviously we're communicating via telepathy. Now, if wing attack is a flying type, we all know that flying types are equivalent to bug types, which means I am actually... Less, I am a, an insectoid inside of a human's body. Which is the obvious conclusion. And so end of the first day. And I move on with my life. Interesting. Oh, my mouse is still here. I don't need my mouse. I haven't used my mouse in a while. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. You could just be the dude who does his homework all the time. That's totally fine by me. The more you pass my class, the less demerits I get from the administration. I work for the man. If you want, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school and do whatever you do at home alone. Or if you have a family, that's cool too. I don't have a family. <gasps> Okusan has time only for the track team. Chill. That's good, Okusan, but uh, please, please chill. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. I am the head dickwad. <laughs> Ta da. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism. Nepotism. Ho. Don't we get to vote? Ho. Ho-san, just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all, you know, Ryota? I feel for you, buddy. You are my best friend. I know you more than the back of my own hand. I wonder what I should do. Should I join the track team or the bird-watching team? I want to learn the bird-watching techniques. Join the... The... What? I want to learn bird-watching! I don't know. I kind of want to get to know the library. I want to know what kind of books they have in here. I'd love to deal with this pretentious little birdie. But there was something about those eyes. Oh, those eyes. They got me. 
That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Alright, bye. That's it. I'm going, going to my extracurricular activity. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. I am going to go to math class. As everyone knows, I'm an intellectual. And so, I'll go to math class, where hopefully we'll be studying Calcul Me plus Calcul You, Calculus. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. I'm not a dimwit anymore. My wisdom went up by... Oh, he can't see my... Can't see my, uh, my thing. Hold on about that. There we go. What did my wisdom go up by? Did it go up? I leveled up! Wisdom's increased by... Five! I'm up now. Ding. Ding dong. Gotta love that. Love that. I'm on receptionist duty today. I better hurry, hurry, hurry. Move myself back up there until my stats come back. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. How many floors does this school have? There's five floors? There's probably more. There's probably even an attic or a roof. God, that could be romantic. Sitting up there with my favorite birdie. Just... Considering the flocks of the world, how two birdies kiss, beak to beak, how a birdie and a man, or woman, or those in between or beyond kiss, human if you will, mouth to beak, lip to, to, to also beak, sitting here twiddling my thumbs, bad for me, wish someone would come ask me something, anything, how are you, how am I, I don't know. Ask me something. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. But if I tried to spread my wings and fly, I would probably hit the ground as soon as I take off because I have no wings. I'm a human. Planning to jump off the building, the window there is rather good for that Miss Receptionist. <gasps> It's my boy. I don't remember what your voice is. Nagaki, when did you? I've been here all along. I never noticed he's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already didn't know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? Uh, no. No, it isn't. No. Books are lovely. I often find the company of books to be more a company full than humans. But not as much as birds. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nagaki? You could read whatever you want. I know you're an avid reader. You were staring at my books before. And I didn't take too kindly to that. My eyes are up here, but eh. I already read whatever I want. Touché. Touché, Monsieur Birdie. You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and he's gone. Between the stacks, what a strange bird. Somehow he slipped his way through the cracks of the bookshelves. I don't know how he did it. There must be a hidden room back there. Or he's made of paper. So thin. So lean. So... Uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Me in my cave. Just me, the moon, some trees, the echoes of my voice relaxing oh tomorrow is the class hike we're hiking to my house or rather the class is hiking here and i'm hiking to school like i always do should i prepare anything we won't be going far so i don't have to well health first i'll have some udon and go to sleep today is the hike it is we've stopped for a break on a hillside who should i talk to talk to I feel I'm very disappointed that uh, uh, Partridge isn't here, although I'd rather talk to him. I like my Teach, but I spent enough time with Teacho during math class. I always talk to my buddy Ryota. He's my best friend, obviously. Why don't I talk to Sakuya? I want to get whacked. You know what? Maybe I got a thing. Maybe I want to get whacked with Wing Attack again by San. Maybe. I wonder where Okusan went. 
I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Perhaps he's over one of those rolling hills in the distance. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. It's not here. The pudding is not here. I must have my pudding. Ah, I found him. It's missing. Uh, did you bring it for lunch? No, Okusan believes that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Okusan someone now search elsewhere for pudding. Zoom, here he goes. There he goes. And he's gone. Just like that. In the blink of an eye. The potential love of my life is just... <whistles> gone. Like a birdie in the wind. You know what they say. If you love something, let it go. If it flies back, as they often do... It's yours. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Are there multiple kinds of pudding in Bird World? I thought it would just be bird seed flavor, bird seed flavor, worm flavor, bird seed flavor, and then dirt, I guess. Or the barf of another bird. I wonder, can you get like pre containered barf pudding? I'm sure there's a proper name for the upchucking of birds. I don't know what it is. Today's elective day. What should I do? What should I do? Now that's an important question indeed. I need to upgrade my points somehow. Attend. Attend. I already did the math class. I'm a pretty wise dude. I'm a pretty wise young lady. I think I should go to music class and sing my heart out to the other birdies. A. Eh? Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. But this is what Moe's Tart is all about, I guess. I love the fact that we had two musical puns in there. And then we've got Moss Tart. That, that sells it for me. I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing Tarmegans on their head. I'm going to take a wild guess that that is a type of bird. Do you see to mark the great masters? Low-born Philistine? Um, I wasn't intending to, but apparently I leveled up. Hence the little fanfare. Cameron leveled up. Duh, charisma increased by five. hey -o, I am a natural bard, some would say. That was epic. Gotta love that. Er, I imagine you're well aware, but... Uh, the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? My goodness, it's already day three. Actually, it seems to be a month later than last time. I just noticed that. We were in April. Now we are in May. Wow. Alrighty then. If it were to fall, it would conflict with the... If it were in fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. Duh. Should have known. I mean, this is my second year. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. And I only have one leg. Prove me wrong. You can't see my feet. <laughs> Who doesn't just love a good sports ball? Dude, I could go for some sports ball. Sports ball so that Oko-san doesn't whack me in the face, but rather the ball in one of its many, many spherical facets. Oko-san will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. Zoom, zoom. There he goes. You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. I bet you always go to gym class, don't you? You've maxed out your stamina, haven't you? What about you, Sakuya? Hello, I see Hatos. Ah, birds. And we're giving them our heart. See? Heart. Right on the heart. And an enclosed heart. Oh, an open heart. It's, it's spinning. I found a cheap GIF on the internet. Not cheap. It was free. I love the old internet. You can't possibly be expecting me to run some race, can you? I mean, look at my tails. Ah, fuzza. Ah, kaka. Oh, my headphones. The sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? Duh. Duh. How is everybody? Everything has been wonderful on my end. I have had two wonderful Valentine's Day celebrations so far. Two weeks ago, Anna and I went to go see Winnie the Pooh the musical. It was about an hour long up in New York. It was lovely. And then over the weekend, we went to... Oh, actually, this was fun. Over the weekend, I took Anna to a restaurant here in Philadelphia called The Victor Cafe. And the Victor Cafe is a little special place where during your dinner, which is fine food, fine food, fine cocktails, one of the best Negronis I've had in a while, but they also have live singing. And that live singing was opera. It was beautiful. 
Anna's very, very into like the high desk can't sing and whatnot. And it was absolutely wonderful to be sitting there like, you know, at your dinner table, eating your food, just kind of chatting with your date. And all of a sudden in the, in the distance, you hear somebody winds up that when, when they need to sing, they ring a bell. And so when they ring that bell, everyone goes quiet. And then one of the one of the waiters and or waitresses winds up singing a little aria and it's it was wonderful like it was so beautiful i think i didn't recognize any of the the operas because i'm not much of an opera opera fanatic myself i haven't gone to go see many operas but oh it was absolutely divine it was, it was wonderful and i think we should definitely go back i have some i have some other singer theater friends who would be very interested interested in that kind of stuff and i look forward to it and then i go back again because i will because I have to hear the voice of the angels. Ave Maria. I don't sing opera, nor do I know Ave Maria very well. But my teacher says I should be a cheerleader. Should I be a cheerleader? Should we go before you move? Annie, I think you should. I think it was, it's definitely it's definitely worth a visit. It's a little more on the expensive side, but if you're if you're into that kind of stuff, I would definitely recommend it. And also, we're oh moving. We're you're moving. Anna claims we must have a double date. Our people will reach out to your people. But now, birds. The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. I will be the general cheerleader. Aha. Um. I don't think that's how that works. Goodbye. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. Ding dong. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like, I like company. COVID's a tough time, bro, skeezin. That's all for today. Go home. Or don't. Join a club. It'll be wonderful. Go occupy your time. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Okusan's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. I really, really... Yuya might be running the first ten, eight, ten... Oh, y y Uya? Oh, my God. I gotta go see my buddy, Yuya. I, I think, right? Do I remember? No, 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 Yuya was the big buff man. Where was the... I don't remember who the partridge was. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. I gotta think about that. Lorelai imagines it have to be to compensate singers like this who also do waiter stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a big, they got a big tip jar in the in the um, in the front. That's like singing tips are much appreciated. I left the hefty tip. I appreciate stuff like that. I very much appreciate stuff like that. Today is the sports festival where you'll find sports ball, sports sphere, and sports oblong shape. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Who all you met and who you going after, you think? Who, who all have I met? Uh, I've met many a birdie so far. I, if I can go after the the big old partridge, I don't remember, I don't remember doctor's name, but doctor, or or the, the one with the eyes in the library. Oh, I, Naga, Nagasaki, Nagaeki, Nageki? I think it was Nageki. I like that birdie. That's a nice birdie. I think I should go to the, I'm gonna be a cheerleader. I'm a beautiful, beautiful pom-pom butterfly. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. They love them. I see Sakuya and a brass band. Oh my, that's, that's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. Are we in? Am I English? Am I from England? You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from Alabelle. <laughs> sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your honor, sir. Mm, very well. Begin. And so the band began to play. Where did they get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? Who paid for this? Was it our tax dollars? You. Join in. Um, oh, okay then. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip, and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikers. Saki is conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the level style? Oh, a minigame time? Minigame time? Oh. I guess there was it. No minigame. Iwamine is the doc. Yep. Oh, I love that man. It's thick. I like to remember it as uh, with Iwamini. Oh, Nageki is a good boy, but they all are. And nope, Protag is Japanese. I thought so. 
We talked about Japan a lot, and all of a sudden there was a mention of Buckingham Palace, and I thought all of a sudden, like, aha, the English land. I don't know. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. The midterm exam, indeed. Are we already at midterms? I don't think this game is very long. I gotta get, I gotta get through this. We're getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did too well. I did go to calculus class. Depends on what it was in. With thanks. Yes, it is I. Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Uh, yes. Not too, mm, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> you did terribly. No. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. I shouldn't be spending so much time attempting to round myself out as a better student by going to different types of extracurricular activities. No, my head should be in the books. And clearly it should be in math class. And it's unfortunate that it wasn't. With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. <gasps> oh, it's June 9th, AKA 69. Hey yo. Kazuaki, why you doing this in class? Why, why, friend? Why, big birdie professor man? I, I don't like this. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humans like this. Do I know any doves? Do I know of a dove specifically? Huh, there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's yo, ooh, yeah. Yo, ooh, yeah, what's going on? Huh? Salutations, Cameron. Brian won his seventh boat, sir. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pin board. Take a look at this, sonny boy. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Wow. Good on you, Brian. Proud of you, Brian. Brian? Brian? Yo, Brian, is that you out there? Oh, that's not Brian. It's Astro. Don't, don't tell me you don't know who Brian is. I, I think I've heard the name, but... But wait, where are you going? <sighs> Why? He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. Look at this handsome devil. This handsome devil. Take a look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Astro's got himself a PS4. But Astro, you know what Astro doesn't have? The first intelligent bird brain. That's something I don't know what Brian has. Oh. And he's got quite the, quite the charisma, too. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. Typer. He doesn't write on paper. Birds don't have opposable thumbs, as you might know. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pigeon Olympics. Pigeon Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. <laughs> Brian has a brain, huh? No, silly. Brain has a Brian. <laughs> How was that dinner that Anna and I had earlier? Oh, it was lovely. I cooked up two burritos in the microwave and they were... Delicious. And I also cooked some, cooked some vegetables. We have to make sure we get our vegetables. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be- Oh, he's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. I read that already. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling brain pigeon. I, I, I mean, I mean pain bridgen. I, Brian. Brian. Okay. Oh god. Nice. Nice. Lorelai's PS4 had some troubles recently, so now it's got an SSD, but all the data's gone. No! Oh, speaking of SSDs, I'm now on attempting to order computer number three for Anna because the first computer was crap, the second computer was close to crap, and the third computer will hopefully be the remedy of that. They've all got SSDs, but for some reason they're all 100% file, disk, input, output, read, write. I have no idea why. Ugh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Lunch is nearly over. I do, Cameron. I do. I do. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. What a nightmare. Dude, the biggest nightmare of it all is dealing with FedEx through it all. I went through a whole week of, a, of logistics nightmares just to get that second laptop, only for it to not be able to run. It's two programs mostly. Zoom, which is a terribly made program despite the fact for its popularity, COVID happened. And then one called Examplify, where like it shuts down your computer to a point where like it you- It locks the computer so you can't access anything but the test. It's so you can securely take your test, but it also shuts your computer down and makes it all ha uh, unfortunate. It runs in the background literally all the time. I have complaints. Ugh. 
It's Zoom did the bare fantastic. minimum. They did. And then they decided to add like filters to the background. And by the way, that takes an incredible amount of computer resources and that doesn't need to be on my computer. It's like how Microsoft Office now comes with an app, uh, an app for my Android phone and various different Windows apps and an Xbox game bar and 3D rendering software. Like I don't need it. Best Buy's often screwed over Annie over there. Hopefully, I just ordered from Newegg, so hopefully that doesn't get too bad. I hope not. Why Zoom when Discord? <sighs> Today's a good day. I feel like shining. Shining? I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna just spin up my old PS4 and play some video games. What should I do during break? I should start streaming. Has she thought about getting a tablet instead? I don't know if there's a tablet out there. So the intent is to be able to get her a laptop because not only do we want something that works, consumption, but also one, one that can run Zoom and Exemplify, but also play video games, specifically some of the higher end ones that we attempt to play. Anna's computer struggles with that type of stuff. So we're trying to find something that can kind of scratch the academic itch while also scratching the itch of <laughs> just just games in general. We like to have social lives outside of that, and I game every once in a while, and it just wouldn't be the same. Soul Worker, 100% orange juice, just wouldn't be the same without playing with my dearest. I'm gonna go to the infirmary to see the doctor. That's what I want. Tablet can no play games. Can confirm. My Surface, my my two-in-one tablet, this little, this little guy here, is shit at games. It's terrible. I don't like it. Ew again. Are right, you ew? Um, not exactly. Just wanted to see your- Oh my god, you have pupils. I just noticed that. I have pupils too. Oh. And then why are you here? I, I, I came here to- to bask in the glory of your great rotundness. Hear your- <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest. I came here to hear your voice. That's what I want. What was that? Sticker tour when? Oh, that's such a great idea. I should do that sometime. The next time, if somebody, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on there. I'm gonna put it on so I don't uh, I remind myself. Sticker tour on my tablet. I got a couple things on here. Actually, what's my, what's my swap screen? Where's my swap screen at? I gotta remember which one screams my lap swap screen. This is my swap screen. This is where I can, it's full, a full frontal cam. And I got a couple, I got a couple stickers on here. Many of them have meanings. I'll do a quick, quick tour because it was brought up in conversation. This... This is Simba, Anna's a big Disney fan. This is my fraternity. This is Settlers of Catan. That's the game that I used to propose to my dearest with to about two years ago. This is a sticker from a cruise that my father played on. My daddy's a bit of a rock star and we went on a cruise for like a week, so I stole a sticker from it. There's these funny little ones in the background. They were drawn by like Drexel students. I don't know, I picked them up from the honors building. They just look cool, so I took them. I also have Starbucks stickers, no idea where they came from. I also have this Nirvana sticker. There's a game store now down near where my fiance's undergraduate uh, college was, and it was called Nirvana. And my buddy, my buddy Glenn lives down there now. What a handsome boy. I miss that boy. Buddy like us. Um, I also have a cosplay one. It says, what is it? Can, can we get that? Can we get that? It says, what was it? When everyone wants you to be in their cosplay group, and it's like a little dude, like a little dude with a cosplay and stuff like that. We've also got Maui and a little sticker from the uh, Disney Epcot Food and Wine Festival that Anna and I ate every, we ate at least one meal from every single stand. There was like 50 or something of them. Oh my God, it was such a time. And here's, here's another one of those funny stickers that I found up in the honors lounge. That's another one. Of, oh, and I got a little cool sticker. I got more stickers. You know what? A more comprehensive tour would also involve all of these stickers that I have on my on my actual computer on my desktop because I have a lot of com I have a lot of stickers on my desktop too. I really really do. My goodness. Anyway, so Astro wanted to stop in to say hi, and you've been binging the 2017 Spider-Man game. I hope it's good for you. Does that have Venom? I want to see Venom and Carnage, that new movie that came out. I love it. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Tuxedo mask being adopted by some Sailor Moons. That was tuxedo mask. That was that was the sticker. That was the cosplay sticker. I wanted to hear your voice, Shu. I did. I did. I did. My, my voice. Yes, you sound like Snufkin. What does Snufkin sound like? Anyway, I hope it sounds like this. And. Uh. Don't kill him, tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated how I'd love to experiment on you. From the Moomins. I am unfamiliar with the Moomins. 
I, I, I like to I like to think that perhaps he actually does sound like that creepy doctor. An experiment on you. Sadly, I'm busy at the present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. Only because you commanded me, I got kicked out. Booted. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction, or maybe not. I don't know. Ah, I think he likes me. Today's an elective day. What should I do? What should I do? I know not yet. Let's figure it out. How am I doing? My charisma's up. Yo, I gained charisma. I thought I only gained five charisma one time. Ooh, attend. Well, I failed my last test, so I guess I need some more smarts. So I'm gonna go to math class. Ugh. Moo means are, oh, excuse me, look, easy to look up on the YouTubes. I'll write that down too. Moo memes. Moo memes? Moo meme, moo meme, moo meme. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Romance, obviously. And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Everybody's sleeping in class, including my teacher. Is this math class or nap time? The choice is yours! Just kidding. It's nap time. But I got the smarter. I must learn to the something. I leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Five! Count them. Five! High five! All right! Today is Tanabata. It is. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. No wonder her smarts, that's me, are so low with this professor. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Wow, there's a lot here already. Any birdie I know? <gasps> Impossible n'est pas français. Ah, something about the impossibility of French. Oh. <gasps> That one's got shadow markings on it that kind of look like... Oh, they're, they're marks of feet. They're feet. They're feet. They're like the little, like... Like that. Beautiful. This is from Shu. Oh, it's Shu! Just to be granting my wish. And how. Literally chicken scratch. Yo. <laughs> but, and none of these guys are chickens. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force! Rule the world from the shadows. Become a famous artist. You know, actually, so I watched an anime recently called Blue Period. And seriously, though, that watch Blue Period. It's not dubbed right now. I think it's only subbed, but it's a beautiful, beautiful show about about like this dude, like getting into art and painting and whatnot. And it's just, oh, my God, I can't even do this thing justice. It's great. It's great. It's great. I love it. Who's my end game romance target? I'm gonna get with the doctor man because he seems awesome and I want him to experiment on me or the weird library dude. Can you feel the Hitler references? Get it? Because he was rejected from the, the, uh, what was it? Austria, the Austrian art school? Duh, I'm gonna be an artist and get swiftly rejected and then go on to start World War Four. Everybody talks about World War Three, and one and two already happened. I wish to become... A famous artist whose work is known the world over. Oh, hello. Is that you with eggs? Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl you know. A girl that I know, or a girl I know. I do know, I know, because I'm smart. I was just in your math class. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? No, not, not really. I like, I'd rather walk home alone. I do my best thinking when I'm out on my walks. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run, like, you know, rounding this bush about three or four times until I don't see you anymore and then heading home. That's my errand. I'm just looking up after the, the litter. This, this, this park is so dirty. Have you seen? Look at those stars. People are going to leave those there. And the moon. <laughs> oh, well. Oh well. Don't stay out too late. Was it the Keymania 2DX public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. 
That came out of nowhere. What kind of game is that? That sounds awesome. Maybe it's like Kingdom Hearts. Today's an elective day. It's elective day. What should I do? Attend. 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 I want to be smarter. I'm going to math class again. I want to be the smart. Because if I'm not the smart, then however will I get into art school? The logic is there. Sir, how will integral calculus have... <laughs> How will integral calculus help us in life? You'll learn how to integrate real slowly. This joke has already be ma been made, but calcul me, I'll calcul you. That makes calculus. That's a ninja sex party reference. What an awesome band. I love NSP. Mm, hard to say. Might never help you at all with thanks. But, but only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Because I definitely want to be sucking on a math pop. Integral calculus is educational candy. I'm not prepared to accept this. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I leveled up. But I'm not dropping out of school this time. Not today, my friend. He's an honest professor, though. He likes he likes that. This this birdie this damn birdie loves it. We got our finals back today, and I'm not sure I did too well. I just I literally crammed the night before. You can't tell me that I did badly. With angst. Sir? Well done. Gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. And they told me I couldn't study for it all in a single night. <laughs> well, you're wrong. Personally, when you say you can't get the assignment done all in one night, I take that as a challenge. And I will take that challenge. I will. I will, I will, I will. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now, baby! Time to put on our shades, take off our clothes, and sunbathe. No, just kidding. Just kidding. It's not summer. It's very cold out outside. It's 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 February. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Better go to the library and stare at... <sighs> What's his face? Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds in here than usual. And usually it's literally just me and the other guy. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. Oh, but I'm probably not, not alone. I've seen this situation before. What clothes? Most of them are naked pigeons. You're right. That means I'm a naked pigeon. Am I naked? Would it be socially acceptable for a human to walk around this society with nakedness? I'm also a lady. Are my books exposed? I don't know. Oh, I hope nobody is looking at me and my my bare books. My spines are showing. Please, don't look past my table of contents. I have secrets. Nobody should know. Nageki, save me. No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here? Nagi, please be quiet in the library. <gasps> Hello, my friend, my boy. You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? No, 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 no. Just wondering if you were here. Of course, I'm always here. I'm always here in the library. It is literally my job. I live here in the library. Did you notice the interstices between the bookshelves? That's where I live. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's one of mine. Feathers are clothes? Feathers are clothes. Uh, clothes. I choose to risk accept this reality because certainly I would not want to be exposing my beautiful, beautiful covers to the world. Or rather, the lack thereof. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a sign reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. I read it all. Twice. In the moment that you were standing here. While you were staring into my eyes. Yes, I noticed. I read the whole book. Covered it back. Even read both of your books. They're very exposed today. By the way. Nice spines. It, it forces its safe ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. Hmm. The whole concept is inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? Hmm. It is pretty boring most of the time. Not really into it, you know? Maybe hair can be clothes too. Yes, please. Don't look at my bald scalp. It's inappropriate. Fun fact. Their designs, the pigeons, for merch, give them their own little ties or accessories to help them to help set them apart. So they do all look kind of the same. Hmm. It's okay. 
it's okay. To the untrained eye, I just look like any old other white guy. What do you like to read? What do you like to read? Huh? Oh, I like to... I like to read the back of shampoo and conditioner bottles and sometimes the liquor bottles I have in my collection. <laughs> Honest answer. You volunteered your work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? Uh, what, what about, what about, what about, um, Night on the Galactic Railroad or Orejato? How about Orejato? We do have three pure white fantails here, but I mean, oh, well, hold on, hold on. Are they pure? Are they pure? Something makes me think they might not be very pure. Although maybe they are. I don't know. Pure. Curse this class of society. What about, uh, what about my little Nicobar can't be this cute? I like that. Orejato. That's what I picked. I've never heard that name before. What is it? Uh, it's a light novel that came out last month. It's about an incredibly Sundere Nicobar with a complex and her faceless male protagonist brother. And, and I see. He sounds extremely uninterested. Betty's going to read it anyway because he respects me. This, this man gets me. Don't look down on light novels. Kitty Nico's so cute. It is. It has Nico in the name, and how can you not find that absolutely freaking adorable? It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Hey yo, my buddy Shu, the doctor, or maybe, maybe he's just big boned, which doesn't work to his advantage because that means he probably doesn't fly like the rest of the birdies. A hunter gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Zoom. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Did you see the size of those doors? Am I in human society or bird society? If I'm even- Oh my god! It's the fallen buildings! Oh my- Wait, wait, hold, hold up a second. I just saw a bunch of falling buildings and whatnot. Does that mean that we're actually in a post-apocalyptic world? Ah, that was such a good run. I'm gonna completely ignore the apocalyptic hellscape that I just happened to breeze through. <laughs> A true running girl's all a way to start vacation. <laughs> I wonder how far I ran. Oh my, I always lose track to where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently the book Night on Galactic Road is very popular for references in Japanese media. Really? Is it a fake book though? Smart pitches are like turkey sized. Seriously? That's a, that's a big bird. Wow. It's no wonder that it was the big birds that, the, that were the crucial and indoor critical in the fall of human society. <sighs> Where am I? What is life? What is love? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct! The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside tonight. Hey you. Oh me. Oh yes. Oh, and who are you? Oh my god. I, I... I don't know you. Where do you come from? A sparrow sits ne stands next to me, squinting up at my face. <gasps> Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. You are beautiful. It looks a little vintage. How cute! I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um... I'm from St. Pigeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way. You ran all the way here. Then you must be good. Must be very good indeed. My goodness. It's about a two hour drive from here. My goodness, that's crazy. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined does anyone that determined this is the right home. Come on, let me take you on my Vespa. The intimidating sparrow gestures at the skitter scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think, depending on how big you are, the sparrow, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, apparently the Galactic was it the Galactic book? Night on the Galactic Road is a real one. The animated adaptation made the main characters cat people, but as Lorelai understands, it's pretty close to the book. If you see a space train, a burning Scorpio, or a cat person on a train, it's a reference to that book in particular, especially if you're dealing with life or death. My goodness. And apparently, this is Best Girl! 
I like that. The music is also absolutely killer. I think it was so much that I decided to turn it down a little bit. The volume seemed a little loud for my audio mixer. Th thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami! And then we rode home. How romantic. All I can hear is the soft puttering of the Vespa. <laughs> I love this. You're a... You're a very cautious driver. Cover it in your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. Sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. I should really just walk. But, do you, do you think we'll get there by dawn? Cover it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem also against the law? That rule is for humans, not birds. We follow different laws around here. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. Thank you, Azumi. But I'm... But I'm not a bird. Shouldn't I be abiding by human law? And so we putted along as Azumi's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Bling! I don't think I slept that night. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I had the chance? I'll, uh... I gotta... I gotta... Wait, do I have to pay bills? I live in a cave. School must provide lunches, right? You know what? I would consider myself a resourceful girl. I'm not gonna get a job because I don't think I pay for the cave that I live in. I think I've got that easy living life. In addition... I'm pretty sure I'm resourceful enough to just take all the food from school and then use it to, you know, you know, to eat when I get home, like udon and whatnot. But that depends on whether or not the school is actually serving human food. I'm not going to get a job. I have better things to do, like extracurricular activities. Hmm. I think I'll wait until college. That's what I did. I waited until college to get a job. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. That way I can, that way I can skip lectures to go to work. I didn't do that. I didn't skip lectures to go to work. The strangest commercial break if you choose to pursue it. Oh, for 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 getting a job? Mm. I wonder if it's that short-lived. Slacking off and having fun is more than the high schooler thing to do. If I really want to work myself to the bone to the point where I start experiencing mental exhaustion, I'll get a job in college. Story of my life. Whee! It's for a real bird cafe in Japan. Oh, actually? Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, uh, now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should have taken a job. Oh, uh, you know, maybe next time if there's a next time. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. But who could it be? I'm going to invite the doctor if I can or or uh, uh, the dude at the library. Dude at the library? Oh, yeah. Nageki. My boy. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. That he does. He sits in the library all day. There is no clue whether the bird cafe is open for obvious reasons. Obviously, it's uh, you know it's it's a co co a bunch of covids out there. There are too many covids out there, and or maybe in this world, perhaps the bird flu is occurring. The great bird flu nineteen. But I don't know his address or phone number. I guess I'll go at the library if the close if school is already closed. I can't speak. Oh my god! If the school weren't already closed, I'd go check the library. The library. Now that I think about it, I only know him as. The depressed freshman who's always in the library. 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 I'd like to learn more about him. Though, he'd probably never tell me if, anything if I ask. This is the moment- wait, this has got to be the moment where I go and I realize that he actually read the entire series of that book that I- I- I, I shared with him. I feel like. Ah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. All I eat is udon. All I eat- do is udon all the time. It's great. Anyways. I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up, but I went back to sleep. Shucks. Stupid human snooze button. 
I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Better go to get to school. Udon in M-E-A-T. What's that spell? Carnivores. Meat. Oh, hello, with thanks. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. I was so full on meat, human food. Oh, slept. Ah, my homework, I forgot to bring up my homework. It's the weekend, isn't it? Uh, aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself with eggs? Huh? What's the number on the top hey, left hand corner say? 8.30! Ooh. You're just a little early. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit with Anks? I literally have no hands. Nothing. L lend you a hand? Can you stop breaking the fourth wall for just a moment, Kazuaki? Seriously, though. Seriously, bro. If I wanted you to break the fourth wall, I would have asked you to. I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Please hang out with your teacher. He is very lonely. There is no other staff here aside from that creepy-ass infirmary dude. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library, you're more than welcome to do so. I want to go to the library. I have to see my man. I am too distracted by love. Or I could go home, I guess. Library should be open now. I think I'll go study. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm, gonna, I'm not sure I've prepared enough for my test. I'd like to go study. It's all right. <laughs> of course. Work hard, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sir, we suck at our own test. I suck at test taking, but I do want to get a little smarter, and I want to talk to Nageki. I want to look at his beautiful, beautiful, black, abysmal eyes. There are already a number of students working in the library. It looks like mostly third years, which... Aren't I a third year? I finished my sophomore year. It's summer now, or I'm just beginning school again, so I am a third year. They probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. <laughs> Will I be that frank that this time next year? I wonder. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait. Oh, how many years is school? I don't know how many years it is in school in Japan. Because I was a sophomore, I'm not a freshman, so I'm at least on year two. But if those folks are third year- No, wait, I was on year two, so I'm in third year two. Right? 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 I don't know. Ah! Oh, exclamation, is it Nageki? <gasps> He's here, leaning against a bookshelf in the far corner. Hey there, my name's Nageki. You come here often? Nageki, it's me. Miss, we thanks. Did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like you don't like being near the birds. Is that it? They'll just they'll just ignore me anyway. Uh, whether or not I go near, they don't really like me. Nageki, are you being vulnerable? Paranoid? Bullied? Are you being- are you being bullied? I think you just sound a little paranoid. I'm a second year. I think they have three. But it said I was a sophomore. I don't know how the years work over here. Oh well! Are you being bullied, my friend? Oh! <gasps> Nageki, no! If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Buddy. Oh. I'm gonna go beat a birdie up! Anybody who makes way in front of my library buddy is gonna get socked in the face with a fist. I'm the only one who can deal out a fisting because I'm the only person at this school who can make a fist and therefore the only person who can take said fist and whack it into the face of ne'er-do-wells. But anyway, with my aggressive tendencies aside, let's pay attention to class, shall we? Good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Okusan is always having fun. Where's the pudding? I must run. Son. Yup, yup. Yup, 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 yup. What is... What is this fun? I don't know. What is fun? I wanna know what fun is. Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Uh, 
fall asleep now. Focus, sir. Please, please focus. I really need to learn for the test. Please, sir. Oh my god. Hot of a boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Second term. Take a look at this little guy down there. Take a take a look closer look at that guy. He's beautiful. I like this guy. That I do. Huh? Is that? I don't know. Fun fact, Okosan is Moa, the creator's actual pet bird. And no, he isn't obsessed with putting in real life. Go figure. I like fun facts like that. It's a real bird. I guess it's the only one that actually speaks bird because, you know, the creator took inspiration from the bird itself. Is that a student ID? Who is it? Someone from 2-2. Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir? Sir? Oh, wow, you woke me. Oh, I so gracefully wake up when a student screams at me. Oh, n hello, Cameron. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It comes from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Yeah, the rest are stock photos, all the other birds. Damn, that pigeon. Ah, uh, no, 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 Dark. Oh, my friend, you haven't seen the pigeon. The one with the dark, opalescent eyes. Jet eyes that stare deep into your soul. Mmm. I want to make contact with that bird. But not now. Quail, 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 quail. God damn it. Thank you, Cameron. I'll take care. I can take care of it. Huh? Huh? What is it? Nothing. Did just did you find this today? Right? With angst? With angst? With an X? Uh, how do we pronounce your name? With angst is fine. I have angst. Social angst. Yeah, yeah, I found it right outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So, then w was the card lying there all summer? And nobody noticed it? How am I the only good person in this school? Probably because I'm a human with long flowing hair. Duh. It's awfully clean though. Shouldn't it be at least be dusty? Maybe like, maybe like, maybe the janitor is just like, I am picking that up, but I will make it look clean. Maybe it's like freshly waxed. <laughs> My name is Cameron. The ex is silent. You're damn right there, but that's not your name. That's my name. It says so on, on my ID. I'll prove it to you. Take a look at my ID. I'll write it out. Excuse me, I'll write it out for you. Nope, just kidding. The markers are all dead. I will not write it out for you. I have no proof. I'll... I will not be showcasing my birth certificate on stream, nor my official driver's license. No need to dox myself today. Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, with thanks. <laughs> you pasted it from there. Oh, oh, down, down in the... <laughs> You got it. The ex is silent. That's 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 what we prefer. Every every ex is silent, except for the one that that you know that explains it all. Ding. Oh, what a lovely day at school. Today is elective day. Today is elective day, and you know what that means? Time to get myself real smart, right? Right. I'm going to attend. I have not once been to gym class, but I want to be more charismatic. I want to woo the hearts of birdies everywhere. So I'm going to go to music class. Oh no! I forgot my recorder! I don't think we have any spares. I do have my hichiriki at least. You can play that? I can. Observe. Did you hear that? That was the sound of me absolutely killing it, dude. Charisma increased by five. Five charisma points. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have the day off. I really, 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 really want to see a bird in a maid outfit. Not for any weird reasons. I just, I just want to see it. I don't have anything to do. So I guess I'll look around. Hmm. I wonder if Nageki's in the library today. Probably. I should go see him. I think I'll go buy something and hang out with him. Yup. Door's wide open. I bet. Is he hiding in his corner again? Nageki. Nageki, buddy. Nageki. Close it, please. 
Okay, okay. I knew you'd be there. I have closed the door already in preparation. The door. It's loud outside. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. Pigeon it, not a pigeon. I don't remember what kind of bird this one is. But not a pigeon. My best friend is a pigeon. You're staying in here even today? It's almost like this is where you live. You gave up a chance for a maid pigeon, I think, with the job side quest. No! I missed the pay maid pigeon opportunity. It's okay. We only have one la life to live. And this was the path I chose. Morning Dove, which are pigeons. So yes, indeed pigeon. But look at those eyes. Oh my god, look at this. <clears throat> look at those eyes. I love those eyes. You're staying here even today? It's almost like this is where you live. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. You're kind of like a friendly ghost or something. It's reassuring to know you're here. Any anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? I bought you a present. What did... Cookies? Yup, the bird watching club was selling bird-shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Go ahead, have some. Today is 14th, Cam. No progress. 14th? What are you talking about? It's Valentine's Day. Take a look at the heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. I love it. The bird watching club was selling some bird-shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Have some. Here, take this. Take this. Have some cookies. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me very happy. Even if it wasn't a whisper, he even looks a little happier than usual. I love this dude. There's lots of other cool stuff too. Like the third years are doing a play and one class put together a god tier haunted house. It's going to be super spook and epic. So I've been told by the third years. I was thinking of looking around a little more. Nageki, would you like to come with me? No. Oh no, he looks angry. But his expression hasn't changed at all. I... No. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, if you want. Well, alright. I'm sorry I didn't mean to drag you out here. Oh. I think he might actually live here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen, any, seen him anywhere else. Maybe he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school? Or maybe he's the student that's been absent the entire time. Does he ever go to class? I don't know. Hmm. Boy, morning doves have the green around the eyes and that neck patch. Oh, really? Oh, that's characteristic of the species. That's cool. The, the species gets its name from how its coos sound very sad. If you hear something that sounds like an owl during the day, it could be this dove since they're local areas. No, wait, I think I remember that. Oh, I feel like I know what a morning dove sounds like now, but I, I can't, I can't bring it to mind, but I feel like I knew that. Oh, I love that. I like the sound of it. Play crab game. Maybe I will. Maybe I will play crab game. Maybe I will. Midterms are right around the corner. Ah, I don't get, I got too excited for the festival and didn't study at all. Huh. Where's my history textbook? It's not on my desk. Not today it isn't. Where is my thing? Oh, I was reading in the library doing so maybe it's still there. I'll go look at it. I will play crab game. I promise you that. It is on my list. It is not, I don't know if it's a part of my Steam library just yet, but I'm pretty sure it's very cheap. So I will. Sir, sir. Welcome back with eggs. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door's still open? Uh, somebody brought the key to the staff room a few minutes ago. So it's, I think it's locked now. I'll go there first then. Thank you, sir. So, here we go. I was sitting over there, so here it is. Yay, fanfare. <laughs> Party, I did it. Oh, somebody's written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Well, that's funny, but don't run on people's books. Don't leave books lying around with their pages to the four winds. Nageki, oh, it's my boy. What? Why are you so surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? The door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was? I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then it's all right, maybe? Jeez, you're supposed to make sure there's no birdie left inside before you lock the door. Disrespectful. 
have more respect for your birdies. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should lock myself inside with Nageki. I'm going to go home with Nageki. I love this man. Who's bullying our boy? Who's bullying our boy? Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. I'll walk you, and I won't bully you. But if you mess with me, no. I have resources that will make you regret that. No, thank you. Oh. He didn't even pause to think about it. Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine. Really, don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Sorry, dude. Ellipses. Don't jump to. If I could, I'd... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door. So just leave the key there. This isn't Yandere Sim last I checked. Okay, no more sharp objects today. None. Unless... No, he's reading again. I think I'm annoying him. Maybe I need to be more charismatic. Do I need to be more charismatic to win him over? <gasps> no. Ah, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. And so I sat studying in the library while one by one the other students filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. It's Nageki, right? My, how unusual. I think this is the first time I've sat down. So you sat down next to me, Nageki. I want to talk to you. Dude, I gotta take a moment to vibe check here. I really like Nageki's music. It's got like that... If you're hearing it right now, it's the whole, like... It's like a music box. It's very... It's very sad. Like the morning dub, they sound like sad coos. And like, I don't know what it is about me, but... When songs sound sad, I feel like this wealth of emotion, like, build up inside of me. And for a long part of my life, I felt very uncomfortable with that. And still kind of do, but that's a discussion for another time. But it feels very sentimental. That Exactly the word I was going to use. It feels, like, very sentimental and, like, very, like, almost, like... Like, like, uh... What's the word for sad? Oh, God, I can't remember the word for sad. I don't know, mournful. But I like it. It's sweet. It makes me feel almost... Sad for this dude. Somber. Somber? There's another word. It'll, it'll come to me eventually. I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I like that about you. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, no, no. No. Talk. Talk away. Sorrowful? I'll go with sorry. Sorrowful. I feel like... It's like... It's like the way nostalgic feels. Like, it's a dis... It's like a disappointed sorrow, but not totally sad? I don't know. It feels nostalgic to me, just because that type of music just kind of gets me in a nostalgic place. But alas. I'm gonna go with somber. Somber and sorrowful. I'll take it. Please, talk. Nageki, I want you to talk. I was shocked when you first came to talk to me, Miss Wudanks. You're the only one who didn't get ignore me. Oh, my boy. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me, the library. That's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher. Seriously. You are sorrowful boyfriend. Wistful, perhaps. Hotful. Sorrowful. Wistful. <laughs> I'm not all talking yet. Sorry. Go on. Please. Let me, I want you to have your moment, my boy. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're not? I don't think so. No. Uh, being bullied might be better than this. Better than this? What is it? Then what is he? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things sometimes, but it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Miss Withanks, I think I, 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 I think I'm. Withanks, you're here late. Oh, sir, it's you. The school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not a... Huh? Nageki is gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where, where'd he go? Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? No, he's a bird. All right.
I may be seeing people. I may be hallucinating. Interesting. Maybe not. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. He could fly, so he'd be fine. This is true. This is true. The birds can fly. We thanks. Sure. You're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. I'll do that. See, I've been studying. I've been studying hard. You know, when you study as hard as I do, you tend to learn a thing or two. Ha! Closing time already. I don't really have a reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh, no! It's snowing! That means my toes will be cold. I don't know if I have shoes. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard? Ugh, I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Oh, <gasps> Nageki! A book under his arm. The same as always. I see notebook. But I wonder if it's the one that I recommended to him. I do wonder about last time. But if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. I won't try to force it out of him. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Do they make people clothes and shoes anymore? And he's got an arm? Actually, wait, this is an important question. By arm, by arm, does, there, does our narrator mean wing? Because we didn't specifically say wing, did he? Or maybe I missed that. But if he's got an arm... Oh! Oh, confusing! Listen, all I'm saying is... If Nageki has an arm, that makes Nageki a closer suitor for me because I like to feel the touch. The touch of another person's hand. The warmth of phalanges intermingled with my own, and I don't know if I could do that with a wing. I gotta be able to I gotta be able to hand cuddle, you know? Little 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 hand hugging going on there. I can't do it. I have I have one left hand, one right hand, but it kinda kinda looks something like this. Snow? Mm-hmm. I Guess I'll have to wait until it stops. Can I... Can I cuddle up next to you? It's such a... Silent night outside. Do you hear the music? Round your virgin morning dove It is cold outside If I go out, I will die he makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way? What are you reading? Dickens. Uh, Christmas Carol. How fitting. There was a big old Scrooge in that book. Oh! It's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? I'm trying to get my... Wait a minute, I gotta get myself over there. Oh, I can't. I want to point at it. Yes, it's up there, as you can very clean, plainly see. It's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Yes. Please keep quiet in the library. That's the wrong button. There we go. Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. Completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. Nice. More like a whiteout Christmas, if you ask me. Hey, oh, got him. <laughs> no, just kidding. Can you guess Moa's favorite holiday between this and Shoe's Nutcracker tune? The sequel game has a big crystal uh, theme, too. Yeah, 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 I think uh, the second game is Holiday Star. I own that one, too. And yes, it is a part of my Steam library, which means I will play it eventually. And I'm starting to think that perhaps I should wait until the holiday season comes back again and then do, like, a Christmas special. Dude, if I could stream on Christmas, I should totally play Holiday Star. I'd say I missed that opportunity, but I didn't. I, I spent Christmas with my family. That was that was a lovely time. I'm looking forward to it. Holiday specials, everybody. Today's today's holiday special. And I actually, what I'll do real quick is I actually need to go fill up my water bottle. So just because, I mean, you probably didn't already notice, but I really like holidays like this, and I wanted to do something special. So you may not have noticed already, but I'm going to take a very, the hottest of breaks, the hottest of breaks. So please... Enjoy these parrots while you still can. Be back in a hot second. Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. I forgot I changed all my keybinds. There we go. And we're back. I hope the hearty parrots did you well. Hottest in honor of Valentine's. And they are in love. All those parrots are in love. All the parrots are in love. 
What's going on? Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, 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 oh. My dearest left me a valentine and got me some cookies, some little Oreo cookies, and I didn't eat all of them, so I'm going to hand them back to her as she clears them up. Thank you, dearest. Mm -hmm. Her breath smells awesome. She's brushing her teeth right now. <laughs> yes, ha uh ha, -huh, indeed. Huh. Duh, I know, right? She even put together, we have a little, <laughs> I posted in our, in our Discord's food channel some quiche I made a while ago. And <laughs> what I did was actually, I made quiche in a little heart container. <laughs> and she she put like random bits of like food and tea and baby food in it and it is great there's a running joke above me eating baby food at work so i'm happy to bring some more with me if i can um i can't wait to have some of that tea too it all started during the holiday season i plan on making her her actual valentine's day gift tomorrow shh don't tell her because that's when all the chocolate is on sale What's that? Pear sauce? You shit. We've got pear, banana apple pear, and apple avocado. Gotta love that shivakadu. No, I'll eat everything but the avocado one. Anna doesn't want to touch the avocado one. So if you don't eat it, I will. Oh, I'm gonna eat it all right. Nageki, it looks like you're almost finished. Yep, I just got to the part where Tiny Tip dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it, even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist Scrooge sees that this, that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? Wait, I thought it was a classic, but it sounds kind of science fiction-y? Sounds like a spoil, Nageki. I think it's been long enough. The Charles Dickens has been dead for quite a while, and the book itself has been out for a while. If it's a spoiler to you... Shame on you. Fool me once, shame on you. It's been with twice, shame on me. I just noticed there's this little folder in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. What does that do? Oh my god, should I have been saving? Ooh. I had no idea that I should have been saving. I'm glad that I did. What else is in here? Preferences? What kind of preferences do I have? Oh, background music, tech speed. Nice. Nice. That seems a little science fiction to me, dude. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It'd be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. Uh, I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is. And that's all there is to it. Fade away. And so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. Aw. So I can save, but it seems like I'm fine. I Everything's going well so far. The game hasn't crashed. That's good. And uh, I haven't I haven't had any games that crash on me. Although, um, actually, one of the things that I've been looking at is been, I've been looking at some uh, emulators because it's a little tough to um, to set up the, the GameCube every once in a while or systems that I don't have. So, especially a Game Boy. I want to play some Game Boy games on stream. And so I found a couple of classics that I found from my childhood. So I've set up the emulator and I'm working on some scenes in the background so I can play some just really odd Game Boy games that were from my childhood. Maybe marathon it. Maybe play it. I don't know. We're looking at it. The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. Beautiful. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. That's a little morbid, but yes, I am alive. It's a little cold out, but it's calm, and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. The Buddhist shrine, because I am Buddhist. I like that concept. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the, the high-ranking classmates of mine and just rip their tail feathers off. And be like, this is mine now, I'm cold. And I'd be like, squawk, how dare you? I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Cameron, oh, he's got a little flower on his head. Do I have any flowers around here? I don't, but I have, I have party horns. This will be my flower, my little, my little flower today. Kind of looks like a rose. Kind of, kind of looks a little. Maybe I flirt, up, furl it a little bit. Get a little furling going on there. Kind of looks like a. Yeah. This game will kill you if you aren't well established on a boy's route by now. I think that's saying. He's a. He's an Amico shrine made in uniform. 
Oh my god, I just noticed the rest of it. Is there like a button I can click to get rid of the text box to see like full frontal birdie? There might be a button for that. I'm gonna click all the buttons. There might be- I know in some visual novels there like a- there's like a button you can click to like get rid of the text box so you can see the beautiful visuals. Uh, shift, tab, some of these buttons maybe? I'm trying. I'm trying all these. I wanna see if there's a button for that. Shift, tab, no, I don't think there is. No! No! Oh, such pretty birdies! Oh, guess there's no button for that. That's so sad. Oh, well. Backspace? No, no, no. Cameron! Oh, yo! And Tarot Bang! Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Oh, you know it. Oh, fulfillment in school, fulfillment in art, fulfillment in conquest! Art. Go on artsy. Go on artsy today. Yes, this is an outfit that's only for girls. Ryota. I like Ryota. I'm down with that. Here you go. Actually, I think I remember that. I think I watched the anime once where I don't know exactly what type of shrine maiden, but I think in the anime Steins Gate, one of our characters, who is later revealed to be genetically a boy, dresses as a lady, goes by lady terms, dressed up as a shrine maiden uniform, and like, I think it was during the first, I, I don't think it's a spoiler, I think it was like during the first or second episode or so, and like, our, our main character, Ruka, yeah, Ruka's the one in the shrine maiden uniform, our main character, Okabe, is just like, the, like, the pinnacle of grace, such, such feminine beauty, but also, a dude, and like, I don't know, I love, I love Ruka, Luka, I love that character, she's so sweet, but, a but, the but, the part where he's like, but he's a guy or he's a dude. Just like the phrasing is all there is. Watch Steins Gate. I eventually, I will play Steins Gate. There's a, ver there's a bird, not a bird. There's a game of that. And I want to play through it because I freaking, that is going to be a long playthrough though because I really take my time with this stuff. But I, I really want to. I freaking love the animes. Oh, oh, here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yup. The first day is always busy. Oh well, I was gonna ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but if you're busy, then... Sorry, Cameron. Maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks! See ya, Ryota. Aww. Okabe, just go for it. Oh, he's gotta go for it. Don't fall. Don't, don't, don't fight your feelings, Okabe. If you do, I hope you enjoy it as much as the show. Oh. I did play a little bit of the original Steins Gate already, but it was like a couple years ago, and I'd start over from the beginning if I did it again. Hmm. 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 Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year! Oh, hello. Well, thanks. Happy New Year! Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately. I seem to have drawn the chicken of a omen. Why don't you take one? I will! Hmm. Which should I take? This one. The Osechi Blessing. It's beautiful. I don't know what that means. Good. You get a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Withanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, I don't like that. Good fortune is good fortune. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. Naturally, because you sleep all the time. What a shocker. Snooze. Snooze fish. You snooze, you lose, dude. Loser. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up. Oh! Uh, I s said this before, but your junior year would be over before you know it. It is my junior year. That's what I thought, right? Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. All right. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Just same old, same old. Test taken, midterm smashing. The most splendid and greatest academy. Hot of a boyfriend. Look at those pigeons. Love those pigeons. Third term. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Oh my god, legumen times! Legumen times! Legumen times day? Legumes! Like beans! Beans and legumes! 
Peanuts aren't nuts. They're legumes. Oh my god, I have to go get my peanuts. Wait, I have legumes in my cabinet. Oh my goodness, where are the nuts? Where are the nuts now? Wait, these are cashews. Where are the nuts? Oh my goodness, everything's falling. I can't reach my nuts, I'm too small. Where are my nuts? Wait, there are the peanuts. They were on the first floor. The first one I have. Happy Legumes Day, everybody. This was a message sponsored by the Legume Crew. Legume Boys out. Oh my god, I love legumes. I got so excited about that. Cashews are good, though. Cashews are really good. But I don't think cashews are legumes, though. I think they are. The tossing bean Japanese holiday. Oh, do they toss their beans? That sounds like a euphemism. I'm gonna go buy beans. Today, Legumentines is a Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Ouch. Disgraceful. That seems to hit a little too close to home, if you know. A little too close to the flock. Good evening, half of beans. Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is toward these bean medleys for the races, but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the birdie question, really. Hmm. That's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... I'm gonna guess Racing Blend is probably for Okosan, because he's the fast bird. Bitter Black. Bitter Black. Who's Bitter and Black? Are there any Bitter Black birds? I don't know. That doesn't seem like a Nageki type thing. Country Millet? Country? Calm Corn? Nageki seems really calm and down to earth. Maybe Swollen Hemp is Okosan because he's just batshit crazy. I'm going to go with Calm Corn. That seems very Nageki like. Bitter Black sounds like coffee. Oh! Oh, bitter black pe- Duh! I'm gonna go with calm corn. I'm gonna go with the calm corn. But that seemed very pigeon-like. Millet? Maybe? Maybe country millet. I don't know who's the country bum. Who's the country bumpkin? Maybe Nageki's the country bumpkin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the calm corn. That's what I'm going with. You threw the beans toward to ward away the evil spirits originally, since many of them would be compelled to count them all, and such, I think, unless the wires are crossed. Dude, I love that. Oh, evil spirit, you can't get me. First, you have to count all these beans. Like, oh my god, I have to count all the beans first. Millet is a good pick, I think. Well, here we go. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. I, the bean lord, give you your beans. Have fun with that. I suppose we'll see. We all gotta make mistakes, especially when it comes to the powers of love. Today's the day. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Oh my god. Ah! Yes, I'm in the library. Almost empty, as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. It will. Huh. Sorry, bud. XG, they can be kind of unintuitive for the guys since there can be some preference overlap. Yeah, I guess so. Honestly, I would have, if any of them were to present themselves as kind of like country bumpkin like, I probably would have went with the country millet, but eh, it's okay. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Negreki should be right there on cue. Hey, buddy. Here you are, Nageki, sitting in a frigid corner far away from the meager effects of the heater, as expected, my boy. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? It's cold here. You okay, Nageki? I am fine. Don't mind me, miss, with an X. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's legumen times, you know. So I uh, bought you some beans. Here, take the beans. For you, for me? Yeah. Here you go, pal. All for you. Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today, and. Well. You strike my fancy. 
Do you want him? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe he's never gotten Legumentine's beans before. God, I hope he likes them. Crossing my fingers. I guess so. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. <sighs> Sorting all these takes forever. I think I just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Uh... Miss with an X. Be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting, for he is the one who will fly out the window much like a ninja. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. Maybe he's gonna ninja star me. Whoosh! Nageki, are you here? Nageki? Ve. Here. Very here. Nageki! I love our protagonist's mind. Dude, ninjas. Ninjas, bro! Hello. I missed. With an X. You startled me! I have two exclamation points there! How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I, I want to talk with you, Miss with an X. Talk with, with me? Oh my god, he's gonna confess his love to me? Oh my god, oh my god! Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think? Or perhaps the fact that you were just merely a hallucination of my mind brought about by many, many years of incaptivity within a cave? Okay, I'm all yours, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss with an X. Mm hmm? Let's go outside. What? But, but he hates going outside. I know this this morning dove, this manly morning dove, like like my own soul. He would never want to go outside. Not my Nageki. Come on. He stands up, walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go outside all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's... What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? Mime? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library, and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki, what? <gasps> Thud. Watch. He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so, it repeats. My boy. My beautiful, beautiful boy. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, miss, with an X. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. They can't see you? My boy? Am I really hallucinating? I might as well skip past the whole denial phase. I am hallucinating. They cannot see you. I'm... The only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years. No one to talk to. For, for years? My sense of time has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I just noticed you're slightly transparent. I just noticed that, the, that Nageki is slightly transparent. My boy, I can see right through you. I've seen at least... Five school years, school festivals go by. But then, you came and talked to me. I had had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly, you wouldn't leave me alone as I 
talking to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. I killed myself in this room. <gasps> no! What? My boy? Nikeki, no! Oh, my boy, you're a ghost! He's the ghost of Christmas past. And so, here I stay. Oh my god! My clock broke here, its hands turning meaninglessly. Each day, the same as the last. Alone. Forever. No one is bullying me. Or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. He's slowly fading. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here after all. But I think I will miss you. Miss with an X. If it wasn't like this. I would. I would have liked to talk to you for longer. Nageki. I wrap my arms around him. It's my legume time. My beautiful morning dove. I'm mourning because I'm sad. I can feel him softly. But he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful. But I grew numb over time. Ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to. But you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And now it's over. He's slowly but surely disappearing. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nigeki! His head is right next to mine. But his voice sounds muffled and distant. And I look down. His feet are already disappearing. He's slowly fading away from me. Nageki, wait! We've we've never talked like this before! I don't want this to be the last time! Don't cry, miss, with an X. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But but There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No, no, don't say it! Nageki, I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss with an X. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you! Like, like how much I... I... L l l like your eyes! They were always so... Otherworldly. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I... I love you. Oh! That was really sad. Oh my god. I'm kind of tearing up a bit. I find it very difficult to cry, but I am tearing up a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> it's really disappointing! My boy! My boy Nageki, he's dead! No! Oh my god! Dude, what if there's a... But like, but like, what if there's an ending where like, he's still alive? He does that. Morning Dove was picked well. Oh my god! That was so... That was so somber. Oh my gosh. Ending number four. Dreams end. Oh. Oh my god. That is so sad. Oh my god. Achievement unlocked. Dreams end. Wow. 
That's a way to do it, Cameron. Wow. That was something. I seriously enjoyed that. I I certainly hope that I come back and play Hotful Boyfriend again. There are there are apparently more endings to be had here. There's more compelling relationships to explore. I feel like this seriously was only the tip of the iceberg. I think this this will be it for me this evening. I gotta call things off from here. It's getting a little late, but my God. Oh, that was so touching. Wow. Poor Nageki. Honestly, you know what? You know what? I, I think of it this way. If I had if I had to have a first, if I had to have a first, I'm glad it was Nageki. Of all of them. My boy. My bo my boy. My morning dove. My legumentine. My Valentine. I love it. He's one route that helps unlock Hurtful Boyfriend, uh, a VN story separate from the dating sim. And by finishing a route, you should have access to the secret boyfriend next time. What? Secret boy- Oh, well, there's more secrets to be found. The secret, the secret. He was even his, even his parting words about the secret. There was a secret there. And I, I couldn't even tell till the very last moment. My God is so, oh my God. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for so much for coming along. This was, this was something different. I really like these streams where we dive deep into a, a little indie game that I, I just got in my library. Thank you all for joining me on a very special, very loving, very heartfelt episode of Camera with an X, I guess. That's what the episodes we have going on here. Oh, the music turned off. You have to, on the main screen, I have to go back to the gallery and then back again for the music to turn back on. There we go. There we go, music back. This is lovely. I, I seriously hope everybody out there has a nice Valentine's Day. If it was, you know, it, it's probably still going for some people. Or I guess it's pretty much almost over at this point. I don't know exactly how my time zone fits in with everybody else's. But I just want to leave y'all with a little Valentine's Day poem that I wrote for nobody in particular. It wasn't addressed to anybody. Just, just, to, just to keep y'all well. Just to, you know. I don't know, seriously though, I don't know who most of you are out there. But if you're watching this now, I hope it's been good. I hope it's been good. Roses are red, and times are hard, but get out of bed, open your heart. Bad times are short-lived, and only stay for a while, and every day is a gift, and I hope yours ends with a smile. Wherever you are, guys, gals, those in between and beyond, have a wonderful evening, wonderful morning, twilight. Much heart, much heartfelt. Peace out, y'all.